Good morning. This is Larry Edelson for my Uncommon Wisdom video for Thursday, December 23rd. First off, I'd like to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday with your family and loved ones, and enjoy the time off. Right now, let's take a look at the gold market, and you obviously are aware that this is pre-holiday trading, so it's been a rather light volume week so far. That hasn't changed any of the short term or intermediate term or long term trends. So let's go right off to the gold chart here. This is the chart again that I've been following you for some time. I did note last week that we're likely to see some sideways trading action going into the holidays and that's pretty much what we've seen with a downside to the bias. I did give you a warning that I do expect a test of support to unfold in gold. Uh, we might see gold hold up through uh, the next uh, uh, day and a half of trading and then uh, perhaps even into New Year's Eve, but I have no doubt that going into January we're going to be testing important support in gold, first at 1325 down at, then down at the 1250 level. That is going to be a wonderful opportunity to add to core long-term holdings in gold. I would not be going short gold here uh, unless you're a very speculative trader and looking at the very short term and are very adept at getting in and out using specific timing and price targets. Let's now take a look at the dollar index. You'll see the dollar index looks pretty much sideways like like gold. I did indicate to you last week that we could see a pop up in the dollar up to as high as 83 or 84 basis the nearby futures contract on the dollar index and we have a slight bias to the upside uh, in the dollar index right now but due to the pre-holiday trading I really don't expect much to occur there. It's likely maybe <clears throat> next week or early January as gold probes support, we'll see the dollar index pop up to that 83 to 84 level. Importantly, the dollar, even by the dollar index, is not strong. Do not take any rally in the dollar index as uh, uh, being equivalent to a, a, a strong dollar because if you look at the dollar and how it's trading against individual currencies, it's pretty uh, drastically different picture than the dollar index itself would have you uh, consider. For instance, the dollar is at a record low against the Swiss franc. It's also hovering near uh, decade plus lows against many of the Asian currencies while it's only rallying chiefly against the euro which of course is suffering from the sovereign debt crisis that will eventually work its way west and strike the United States. Now let's take a look at the Dow. I find the Dow pretty interesting. It continues to maintain, you'll see this, this uh, congestion over here similar to the blue rectangle to the left of your screen. It continues to consolidate in a very tight trading range. I believe strongly that we'll probably see a pop up out of that range sometime soon and a stab at the 11,885 critical resistance that I've mentioned in my uncommon wisdom columns and then that should be about it for the rally in stocks. There's very very limited upside here in terms of both price and time as the short-term cycles continue to suggest the Dow will probably roll over into January with potential for a sharp decline. I cannot rule out a decline down to 9,000 in the Dow that is still in the cards. It's not uh, signaling yet, but time-wise uh, the cycles and many technicals are pointing to a test of Dow 9,000 in say the first quarter of 2011 before we uh, move any higher. Long term I'm getting increasingly bullish on the stock market. As I've indicated to you uh, over several columns in my Uncommon Wisdom Monday column and several times on this video and also in my Real Wealth Report that stocks will eventually take on aspects of a commodity hedge against the dollar and begin to monetize or reflate higher. 
and could go considerably higher in the years to come. However, it will not be a straight line up. We will see some wild moves to the downside as well. The Dow is going to be one tricky market to invest in over the next few years, as if it's not already been a tricky market. It will get even trickier. However, with the right guidance and the right selection of stocks, stocks that represent largely natural resources and tangible assets and international uh, companies that can take on a uh, multi-currency type of investment magnet for investors uh, will do very, very well in the years ahead. But not yet. Don't take that as a signal to get involved uh, heavily in the stock market. First, we need to see a downside test of support in the Dow and in the S&P 500, much like I'm expecting in gold. Till next week, again, please have a very, very Merry Christmas. This is Larry Edelson. Be safe. Bye-bye.